I want to say first, I've got no interest at all in defending Wikipedia. Um, uh, insofar as, you know, lots of people have uh, lots of uh, criticisms, anxieties, uh, worries about Wikipedia for incompleteness, for inaccuracy, for the way it's written, for whatever, whatever. I have to say, I was a little worried when James said that 70% of doctors use Wikipedia. And I was like, okay, well, I'm going to ask my doctor next time I uh, see them, you know, on what are you basing this uh, diagnosis? Um, I've got no interest at all in, in, in defending uh, Wikipedia. Acres of uh, Wikipedia is, is, is rubbish. In fact, that's the first, I mean, as, as James said, that's, that's what first drew him into uh, editing Wikipedia, seeing something that was, seeing an article that was useless and rubbish, and knowing that he had the possibility of, of changing it. And that's the, that's the thing that drew me into it as well. Uh, basically, I don't know, a few summers ago, uh, Wikipedia is fantastic for procrastination. So I was supposed to be doing something else and uh, ended up uh, sort of staying up late. I saw that there was an article on something that I knew about, and I was like, well, that's very strange. And, um, and then I sort of started sort of, you know, idly surfing it and noticing that the articles, especially on uh, the uh, area that's whatever, the, my notional area of expertise, Latin American literature, were completely and utterly rubbish and uh, on the whole. And, uh, and starting intervening and starting to, to you know, try and make improvements in these articles, uh, running up against a bit of opposition of one sort or another with other uh, uh, editors and thinking, I know what, I have next semester, this is in the summer, sometime in the summer, uh, next semester I have uh, access to a, an army of uh, potential editors, call them students, who can uh, go in and try and fix some of these articles. So that's the essential notion, the first essential notion was, uh, students could uh, improve Wikipedia. So again, I've got no interest in defending Wikipedia per se. Uh, also, I, I recognize that uh, people who, uh, Wikipedia can become a sort of a cult or a sect in, in, in which people throw around all sorts of, I don't know, bizarre language terminology and acronyms. I don't know, ARBCOM, COI, RFA, I don't know, all this kind of stuff, AFD. Uh, it doesn't help that, uh, it really doesn't help that, um, uh, that, uh, for instance, Wikipedia markup language is different from anything you've ever seen in your life before. So, I mean, like, we can, I don't know, those who've done this before, uh, you, when you click on a page to edit a Wikipedia article, um, uh, they don't use HTML. They use some sort of, you know, it's the wiki, the wiki uh, language is something that, for instance, students have never seen before. And so it, it can look very uh, strange and intimidating uh, to start off with. So, um, and that's, that's one of the problems talking about uh, Wikipedia, that, that it's got, it, you quickly develop, it's got this cult-like uh, atmosphere and quickly develop uh, your own language, terminology, and way of thinking about the world. But I do want to defend, I don't want to defend Wikipedia, but I do absolutely want to defend more than defend. I want to very strongly advocate for our involvement in Wikipedia. I think it is, I don't know what, a duty, I suppose, of people within the university <laughs> institution uh, to be involved in sites such as Wikipedia. Why? Uh, because uh, we're at a moment in which, on the one hand, you have a massive expansion of the common, of common knowledge, of the possibilities of access to, uh, to knowledge, information, uh, criticism, analysis, and so on. Wikipedia is, is, is one very good uh, example of this, this enormous uh, repository I actually really like the fact that they actually use the term commons when they talk in the in the sort of image repository that they have for, for images that can be can be used that are all uh, in one way or another for one reason or another public domain uh, images. You've got this massive expansion thanks to technology, other things as well, blogs and so on. The whole um, uh, massive new possibilities for uh, improving the state of you know public knowledge and public education on the one hand. On the other hand. We have a whole series of countervailing forces, new enclosures, um, you know, broadly out in the world, things like patenting genes and so on and so forth, but in the university too. Uh, we have the you know, Blackboard and Vista and all these kind of educational ghettos, and we have, as everyone knows, I think in this room, we have so-called access, so copyright, for instance, uh, trying to restrict ever more the ways in which we can use the resources that often we ourselves uh, produce. So we've got these, these, uh, this countervailing, these two tendencies, uh, one towards access and, uh, and openness, uh, 
increasing uh, common uh, public good, and the other uh, new enclosures, new privatizations. I, I know which side of that I want to be. I mean, I think it is our duty as uh, people in the public university um, uh, to be involved in uh, the uh, fomenting and contribution, uh, con contributing to uh, public knowledge and the public good. So Wikipedia uh, is an obvious way to do this. So for instance, um, uh, James is talking about uh, the numbers of uh, people who, who view individual articles. When, when I first used Wikipedia in, in the classroom, there's a point in which I discovered one of these tools in which you could see how many hits uh, students have got. And so I came into and I said, hey, how many, how many people do you think are reading these articles that you guys are writing? And, uh, and they range from the sort of, I don't know, low thousands a year for really obscure articles that we just uh, that we just um, uh, started from scratch to uh, three quarters of a million people reading the article on Gabriel Garcia Marquez. And, and this is a, you know, to the students, look, you're not just producing an essay that one person reads late at night at the end of the semester to give a grade to return and then they throw it in the bin, you know? You are actually contributing something as students, as uh, undergraduate university students. Uh, you have the possibility also of uh, contributing to uh, public knowledge, to the common good. Um, the best example was th of this was in my, again, in that same first class. There's a class on the, uh, the dictator novel in Latin America, and uh, they uh, edited a series of articles about authors and, uh, and the books that we were reading. One of the authors was Mario Vargas Llosa. Uh, at the time, uh, and they uh, turned that into a featured article. As James said, the, these various sort of Wikipedia uh, evaluations, a featured article is a the fanciest and best. It means that the, the, the article can go on, uh, can go on the front page, like the, this is today's featured article on whatever that is, the New South Wales, on oh, whatever that plant is. We had one day we had Mario Vargas Llosa up there, so that was to show this, this is something that Wikipedia was proud of and, and was showing off to the world. Um, and that day there was a little spike in the number of people who uh, looked at the article. But of course, the real spike was about a year after the class was over when Mario Vargas Llosa won the Nobel Prize for Literature, suddenly from, I don't know, 2,000 people reading the article a day, uh, we had something like 140,000 people reading the article. And it's the first point of, port of call for you know, all, all the journalists who were told by the editors, this Peruvian guy has run, won the Nobel Prize, go and find out something about him and write an article. Uh, and, and that was, you know, my students had written that, had essentially written that article. Um, the other thing I want to say about the, uh, so, so I, think it's a, I think it's our duty, I think we should be involved in, in uh, projects such as Wikipedia. I think uh, we need to get out of the educational uh, ghetto and, and refuse the kind of restrictions uh, that are being increasingly uh, imposed upon ourselves. Um, uh, Wiki, uh, Wikipedia itself has always been a little bit ambivalent about uh, academia and the academic institution. On the one hand, there's a sort of uh, anarchism inherent to uh, Wikipedia, which I kind of like, I kind of sympathize for, in, uh, about credentials. Uh, people would come, academics would come uh, to Wikipedia and start to get involved in the debates on, uh, on, the debates on particular articles, and, uh, and people would challenge them and they say, well, you know, I'm Professor so-and-so. And, -so. and uh, the Wikipedians would say, you know, we don't need your stinking credentials, you know, you've got to prove what you've got to say. You can't just rely on the fact that you are Professor so-and-so from University uh, so and so. So there was, there was a great suspicion uh, of people who would, would come in and, and you know, flash their, uh, their library cards, as it were. And, and uh, for good reason, because you know, don't trust anyone on the internet. Uh, you know, some people, people could say that they were professors so and so. Uh, in fact, one of the early big scandals about uh, Wikipedia was about somebody who claimed to be a professor of theology at some small American college and turned out to be uh, a massive fake. So people want, so you know, on Wikipedia, people want you to you know, argue on the merits of, of a case, and rather than, and, and, and rather than just uh, claim some kind of expertise uh, re because of the, whatever your title is. But on the other hand, uh, uh, as well as this sort of anarchism and, and skepticism, there is actually a great desire for legitimacy on, on the part of uh, Wikipedia. Uh, that's why, especially over the last couple of years, there's been this reaching out towards the university. Um, I think that uh, the next speaker coming in from, Spike, uh, coming in from Skype is going to talk about uh, campus ambassadors and so on and so forth. 
but um, uh, Wikipedia have written a, a large number of uh, grant applications, got a lot of money uh, in order to try and, um, and try work with uh, higher education, work with, uh, work with us, essentially. So um, this is a very propitious moment, I think, um, for us to be involved in Wikipedia, for us to be uh, involved uh, in this massive project of, uh, for the common good and, and common knowledge. Um, okay, I want to say uh, just, okay, just a, a couple more uh, things about uh, what I have done and how I have used uh, uh, Wikipedia. Oh, I guess I, I want to say one other thing about the whole uh, question about the, the conflict between the commons on the one hand and the new enclosures on the other. I mean, one of the, that there's also this, I don't know, right wing populist tendency now to say, to turn, uh, to persuade people that they can turn their backs on the, uh, on the university. There's a woman called Anya Kamenetz, for instance, who wrote a book called DIYU, um, which basically said, look, there's Wikipedia. We don't need, you know, we don't need the university. You can put your own degree together. Uh, we don't need research, essentially. Uh, you can like make, your, make up your own credentials. And, uh, you know, why, when universities are charging, whatever, 30, 40, 50,000 uh, dollars. I mean, why should we go along with that um, blackmail? And to an extent, I agree, again, with, uh, with some of the anarchist tendencies there. Uh, the problem is that it does, um, it is easily uh, taken up by, uh, yeah, a right-wing populist agenda uh, that has the suspicion of all kind of state institutions. So I think uh, it's important for people in the, in the institution to justify um, uh, the possibilities that the institution uh, still offers. Okay, what did I do uh, in Wikipedia? I mean, again, it's essentially uh, it began um, through nights of procrastination in which I just sort of idly uh, edited things. And then I thought, I've got this army of students, and they can be involved too. Uh, there are also a lot of, um, there are a lot of kind of spin-off reasons to involve students in Wikipedia, some of which I only dis discovered as the, as the term, as the semester went along. Uh, the first project was a wildly Whoops. Um, the first project was a wildly uh, ambitious one to get featured articles on these uh, dictator novels. It's thinking, here we are. Uh, we called it, I called it, uh, Murder, Madness, uh, and, and Mayhem. Uh, essentially, I still love that quotation from this guy. This guy, Gregory Coase, is a great opponent of uh, Wikipedia, mainly because he's been repeatedly banned. Um, and so uh, he spends his time sort of saying scurrilous things about it. Uh, so his daughter is not coming to the University of British Columbia. Anyhow, uh, so uh, these are the articles that we, uh, that, we uh, that I got them to, to write in groups about uh, Latin American dictator novels or their authors. Uh, the first one we got was this one called um, El Senor Presidente. This is a sort of great, uh, initial great uh, triumph. This is, a, this is an article that, we, that I began in class for them. Um, uh, they, they sort of said, well, how do you start a Wikipedia article? And I said, this is how you do it. And then about five minutes later, went back to the page that I just started and, and some other Wikipedian and said, this article needs to be deleted. I was like, uh oh, okay. Uh, we need to sort of justify the presence of this article. So it began in sort of quite uh, inauspicious circumstances, and uh, it became, uh, after a, a thousand or so uh, edits later, uh, it became uh, something that, it, that Wikipedia uh, was willing to parade as a, uh, amongst its uh, best work. Um, I say, one of the, the, the spin-offs, uh, there are various spin-offs, uh, virtues of the Wikipedia project that I hadn't realized to start off with. Uh, one really, it teaches students about revision and writing in a way that the normal essays that I asked them to write didn't. The fact that, they, that this went through a thousand or so iterations, that they had endlessly to go back to the article, challenged often by uh, other Wikipedia editors or in the review process, uh, to get to first good article and then uh, featured article. Uh, the fact that Wikipedia articles are always in process, um, uh, that they're always, I mean, th there's a reason why people who contribute to, to Wikipedia are called editors and not writers. I think that they're, they're working on 
uh, a document that is constantly in process. The, 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 that gave them a, a new way of thinking about, uh, about writing, about academic writing, I think. Uh, rather than the notion they had a deadline at the end of the semester, they've handed in their paper, then it's done, they get the grade and so on. Uh, here that they're contributing something in, in process, and then their work also has to be uh, con continually revised and, and revisited. Uh, another spin-off which I hadn't really thought about to start off with uh, was the extent to which uh, Wikipedia, in that it is uh, in this encyclopedia, uh, in that it is a, a compendium of of knowledge rather than a place in which uh, to advance an argument, uh, these Wikipedia assignments were essentially, uh, were essentially research assignments. They had endlessly to be going to the library. They had endlessly to be going to JSTOR and so on and so forth. I mean, one of the, one of the best uh, evaluations from the class, or the, one of the evaluations from the class that I liked uh, best of all was a student who said, uh, I'm, in my, I'm now in my final year. Uh, so this is a political science student. This is the first class in which I've actually had to go to the library. So the notion that there's some kind of competition between you know, Wikipedia and, and the library, I, th I think easily, or, or Wikipedia and, and, and some of the, you know, the virtues that have traditionally been propounded by the institution uh, is, I think, uh, illusory. Uh, I think we, we can and should be on, on, much the same, uh, on much the same page. And this insistence on sources, this insi insistence on citations uh, is something that, um, uh, that the students you know, weren't used to, frankly, um, in, in quite the same way or with quite the same uh, rigorousness uh, from some of the other classes uh, that they had taken, been taking. So we'll see. I mean, this is a long, I mean, this is like thousands of words that they produced. Um, and then at the, at the bottom is you know, the footnotes and sources and so on and so forth. There was a point at which, as I'm in the library, I might as well mention this. I mean, they, they were the, this is basically, this is a group of two students who did, who did this, uh, who were <coughs> friends. And at one point, they were sort of desperately looking for more, for more, for more. And they came to the library, they came to here, and they came to the reference desk, and they say, uh, we're looking for, you know, sources on El, this, uh, this novel, El Señor Presidente. And uh, the reference library said, well, there's a really great Wikipedia article on this. And, uh, <laughs> we wrote it. We're trying to improve it. Um, uh, since then, I mean, this is a very sort of high-profile, high-intensity um, project. The first time I did it, this murder, madness, and, and mayhem. Uh, since then, I've been trying to tone things down, take it a little bit more relaxed. It's like when I did blogs. The first time uh, I used blogs in class, it was all like, oh, this is sort of exciting and different and so on and so forth. Uh, and now, I, I, I like the fact it's just completely normalized. You know, at the beginning of the semester, I tell the students, right, you've got to open a blog. You've got to write an entry a week. You know, that's, you've got to do a couple of comments on other people. You know, it's, it, it's not something I make a big deal about anymore. It's just one of the things they have to do. Uh, so I'm trying to get the, the Wikipedia uh, aspects of um, uh, the, what people do in, in my classes to be a little bit more like that. that. So we're not going for feature article status uh, anymore. Uh, uh, I, I've tried sort of different iterations, different versions, playing around with things uh, in different classes. This uh, semester, for instance, I'm using Wikipedia in a graduate course, in fact, in Spanish, and um, uh, they're writing articles about Borges. It's a, it's a, the course is on Borges, uh, the Argentine writer, and so they're writing articles about Borges short stories. Uh, again, without trying to make a big deal about it, um, uh, without trying to, but just, you know, this is your contribution to the public good, to, the, to common knowledge. Um, uh, I try also not to make Wikipedia the focus of the class. I mean, Wikipedia isn't the focus of the class. Uh, it is just another tool amongst others, a tool of uh, evaluation uh, to some extent, um, uh, and one of the outputs, one of the outcomes that, that they uh, produce in the course of uh, the class. I think it is the outcome, the output that they're most proud of, though. It's the one that they can show their, uh, you know, their, their parents and their friends and so on. I did that. Uh, it's the one that you know, endures um, uh, more obviously, at least, uh, after, the, after the class is over, after, after the semester is over. Again, I, I very much believe that students need to be able to keep the products of their work. That's one of the many reasons why I'm against Vista and Blackboard and so on. You know, once the, once the semester's over, it all sort of disappears into the ether. That's why I think students should have their own blogs, for instance, and they keep it and they tend it and they turn it pink or green or put their own pictures on it or whatever they do, right? Uh, it, it, to some extent, it belongs to them. Here, it doesn't, uh, the work that they do for Wikipedia doesn't quite belong to them in the same way because it's a process which other people may come in uh, and adapt and, and edit and, and use as well. But it, uh, if, if they've put in a good deal of work to an article, it's something to which they can point and they say, 
You know, I did, I did that, and you know, tens, sometimes hundreds of thousands of people uh, uh, are reading that and benefiting from what I did in, in that particular class. I'll stop now. <laughs>